Yo ho, so today I'm going to do a really super lazy video and I'm just going to do my summer TBR. Hi. I've had an awful week and it got even worse yesterday when it, my kind of work week ended with being nearly robbed at work by a junkie. So that was pretty awesome, I had to go make a statement today and um, yeah, so I'm mentally drained and that is why I'm doing this video today because I'm not up to doing anything else that requires actual thinking and things. Okay, apart from that, before I get into the TBR, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who shared and tweeted my last video on the alternative booktubers. It really helped a lot and like, I thank you from the bottom of my heart to anyone who posted it on their Twitter or their Tumblr and I'm so eternally grateful and I just, yeah, I'd like to give you a hug. So keep on like spreading that around. I'm getting more and more people every day commenting and messaging me and I'm updating it. The other thing is I had to move the list from the description because the description got too long. He knew that there's actually a limit on the description of how much you could type in it. But I moved it to my Tumblr so now there's a link in the description to my Tumblr. I know it's a bit irritating. I would have preferred to have it all in one place but you know what can you do. I've already started categorizing it like physically writing out the list. Now I have to go through basically everyone's videos for the people who didn't leave any genres. So I have to watch their videos and kind of get a feel for them and see what I can pigeonhole them into. So it's going to take me a little while longer just to categorize it, but hopefully that will be done by next weekend. Fingers crossed. I think that's all I have to say. So I'm currently reading George R. R. Martin's A Storm of Swords Part 2 Blood and Gold. I got past the Red Wedding a few weeks ago and then I put it down because I was like, fuck this, fuck you, fuck everything, I'm done. And I had a real kind of moment and I had to grieve for three to four weeks about it and I only recently picked it back up again so I'm just halfway through it now. I'm just past the whole uh, <coughs> thing. Yeah. And it wasn't as satisfying as I thought it would be. It's probably because I knew it was coming. I think Tumblr's ruined the series for me but oh well. So yeah. So I'm probably going to finish this off this weekend because I want to get in just burying my head into a book because I, could, I don't want to deal with my life. The next one I picked out is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov and it was one of those books that I've, I've wanted to read for so long and I actually picked it up earlier this year to start reading but I had just read something that kind of touched on the whole you know pedophilia thing and I really wasn't in the mood because it's quite a heavy subject and I was just like mm, I'll leave it I'll leave it a little while but I think I'm ready to read it now. I don't know, I've got a lot of expectations and I've heard a lot of different things from a lot of different people about it, but I would just prefer going into it myself and making up my own decision on it. Because Nabokov, like I said, is one of those authors that I've really wanted to read for ages. He's on like the list of authors that I should have read and I feel like a peasant for not having read anything by him yet. So I'm gonna knock that out this summer. This isn't in any, any order by the way. The next one I picked out is a super depressing read. It is Requiem for a Dream by Hubert Selby Jr. And um, I don't know how much I really want to read about heroin addicts. Yeah, I haven't read anything depressing in quite some time. But I want to give this a go because I've been looking at it for ages and ages and ages and I've kind of made a pact with myself that there are certain books that I won't buy until I read some of the ones that I own. So like I can't buy any more modern classics until I read the ones that I own. I think this... No, I've got another one on the shelf there somewhere that I haven't read. So this is one I really want to knock out. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. I don't know, I really like depressing stuff from time to time. This one is a Penguin English Library edition and it is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And um, like I said, I, I want to buy some more English Library editions, but not until I read this. Everyone knows what this is about, there's no point in me trying to explain it. Um, I'm... Mm, I don't know. All these books have been Penguins so far. This next one is also a Penguin. It is Asylum by Patrick McGrath and this is kind of a loose romance, I believe, um, but it takes place uh, in a hospital for the criminally insane and we all know how I feel about hospitals for criminally insane people. I love reading stuff about like mental health and stuff that takes place in hospitals and things. I, I explained this when I hauled this like last year or something and um, I don't really feel the need to explain it again but basically it's about a woman whose husband is a shrink and she falls in love with I think maybe one of his patients or some one of the one of the people that's locked up in this asylum and they start having an affair and blah 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 and it's 
told through the eyes of some other shrink. I don't know, listen, I can't explain it until I've read it properly, but I think I'm going to do a review on that once I've read it. Finally, one that's not a penguin. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. I have never read really any sci-fi, actually, at all, but um, I've never read any Philip K. Dick, and I want to, I think this is a good place to start. This was really popular on booktube a little while ago, hence why I didn't read it. I'm a real kind of hipstery snob when it comes, like, when things get popular and people start talking about them a lot, I just, I take no interest in it and I wait for it all to die down, but, yeah, no one's talked about this in a little while, so I think I'll read it this summer at some point. I was reading some of it today, actually, and I was like, ooh, this seems real good, I'm gonna like it. The next one I have is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. We all know, we, I think you've heard everyone rave about it, and I just want to find out if the hype's really good, if, if it's true, if, it, if the book lives up to the hype. I want to read it out of just curiosity, since like everyone's like, oh my god, it's the best book ever. Next one is Henry Rollins' Black Coffee Blues. I forgot what it was called there, I was going to say in the van, but um, alas, that is out of print at the moment. Anyway, so I read about I read that, I picked this up a while ago and I started reading it, and my god, it is depressing. Like, the first, what is it called? The 124 Worlds? Yeah. The 124 Worlds is fucking depressing as hell, and I just had to put it down, because I was like, no, it turns out I'm not in the mood to read anything depressing at, the mo at that time. Like I said, over the summer, you know, I might have a bit of a slump and get real and things like that. And Harry Rollins is, like, most famous for, like, fronting Black Flag. And if you don't know who he is, then fucking Google. The next one is... The, 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 I'm with the band by Pamela's Bar. And this is one I hold recently again, and I really want to read it. It's going to be fucking fabulous. I started reading it a little while ago, just to get a feel for it. I generally read the first couple of pages. Once I finish a book, I read the first couple of pages of a few books to decide what I want to actually read. This this is going to be one I love. I might read this next, actually. I'm not quite sure. And then the last one I picked out, I decided it's been a while since I've read anything with horror in it. And I decided, oh, let's go with some Stephen King. And I picked up Pet Cemetery, and I was like, yeah, let's try Pet Cemetery. It's got a cute little kitty on the cover. And actually, I've never seen the film, and I read the back of the book, and I don't, to be honest, I don't really know. I have a brief idea of what it's about. I have an idea. Like I said, I've never seen the film, so I think this will be pretty good. You know, going into a blind kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, so that is my summer TBR. I didn't include any graphic novels because um, I just, I those are kind of like in the moment kind of things, so yeah, but there's going to be graphic novels too, so you can always add me on Goodreads or whatever, and anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon.